Welcome to a video showing the first ever 3D LiDAR scan of the Newport Tower in Newport, Rhode Island. My name is Thomas Elmore. I'm the founder of the GeoNav Group, a 3D LiDAR scanning and mapping company located in Suffield, Connecticut. We were hired by the New England Antiquities Research Association, known by the acronym NERA, to scan both the tower and the park in conjunction with ground penetrating radar for an in-depth study of the above and the below ground features. The video that follows is the first ever LiDAR scan of the tower and it will be used in concert with additional research to help date the tower and hopefully to be able to identify who built the tower. So let's get started and I hope you enjoy the video. The LiDAR scan of the Newport Tower in Turo Park, Newport, Rhode Island is the first time ever the tower has been scanned with a handheld mobile LiDAR scanner. The scanner I use captures 300,000 points per second, captures while I walk. It enables me to scan very unique environments such as the Newport Tower and the center of the tower. On February 14th, 2021, we met in Newport uh, to scan not only the tower itself and the park, but the inside of the tower. To help us scan the inside of the tower, I created a telescoping pole that will allow us to lift the scanner 30 feet into the air so that we could scan all the sides of the windows, the niches, the stones, and the top of the tower while going up and coming back down. The pole worked out really well and enabled us to really fulfill the goal of scanning the inside and the outside of the tower and registering the scans together to give us the opportunity for future archaeoastronomy research as we investigate uh, solar and stellar alignments. The software I'm using is called Vision LiDAR out of Montreal, Canada, made by GeoPlus. And the software is very powerful. Software it allows me to do uh, really whatever I would like to do. Um, and therefore I can illustrate and show to my clients nearly anything that they're looking for uh, once the, the feature has been scanned. So one of the things I like is I can classify all the features of the scan and turn things on and off as I so desire. So I can turn the trees off. I can turn the landscape features off. And I can turn off the surrounding neighborhood to give us just the tower and the park. With the software, we can uh, put together a whole series of cross sections and section elevations. and I can turn the background any color I so desire. And again, turning the trees on and off and the surrounding area and the landscape features. One of the things that we're going to be doing with the scan is coordinating it with ground penetrating radar that was conducted on the same day by Radar Solutions International out of Waltham, Massachusetts. And her work will be combined with our work. And the goal is to 
uh, be able to get access and do some archaeological investigations under the tower and with the goal of doing optically stimulated luminescence in an, in an effort to, to date the tower. And maybe that'll enable us to figure out finally who built the tower. But one of the other things that we're going to be doing is using another third party program and doing some archaeoastronomy and sight lines and alignments through the windows that exist in the tower. And you can see, as I rotate, you can see through the windows. Uh, and that'll be interesting as that research comes to life. So I hope you enjoyed this brief video of the Newport Tower and our LiDAR scan. It was a wonderful opportunity to work with a great organization and I'm looking forward to working with others in the future um, as we continue the scientific investigation of the tower. In closing, I wanted to share a series of photographs and screen captures illustrating uh, unique views of the park and of the tower. Here again is the series of photographs lifting the scanner to the air above the tower and back down in a non-invasive manner. Oblique views are, are carefully and quickly created once the scans are, are captured and, and processed. You can do close-up views by isolating the tower. And again, the, the lower view, another bird's eye oblique view. Two cross sections. Um, our work was done in the day, during the daytime in the sunlight, but with the, uh, the software we can make it appear as if it was done at night. Another view of the entire park and across Bellevue Avenue. And on top is a cross section from north to south. So it's been a pleasure and a wonderful opportunity for me to be the first ever to scan uh, the Newport Tower, both the inside and the outside, and to use my fantastic software to register the scans together. And my name is Tom Elmore, founder of the GeoNav Group. Hope you've enjoyed this video. And in closing, I'd like to give a special thanks to Scott Wheeler, the superintendent of Parks, Grounds, and Forestry for Newport, for allowing us access uh, both on the park and inside the fence for the tower scan. Jim Egan for coordinating that effort. And also for NERA, the New England Antiquities Research Association, for sponsoring our work.